What's up everyone, it's Troy at Area 52 with another Friday used gun drop video. These guns are for Friday, August the 25th. They will start going out right before close on Thursday. We're open 11 to seven throughout the week, 10 to five on Saturdays. If there's anything you see you like, feel free to reach out to us. Give us a call at the shop, 336-350-8080. Or you can text our online department the numbers will be in the description below. Getting right into it, we have kind of like a Glocktopia week with a lot of Glocks, all in good condition. We got a pair of 19Xs. They're both virtually identical. Um, super nice. Come with box and extra mags. Glock night sights. Sick setup. We got a 43X. I don't know, magenta, sparkly purple, and flowers. Mint condition as well. We've got a Glock 44 chambered in 22LR. Does have the threaded barrel. Nice setup. Needs a suppressor. We've got two tone FDE in black Glock 43X. Nine millimeter, great condition. Got a Glock 22 Gen 5, chambered in 40 Smith & Wesson, front serrations, really good setup. Comes with the box. Glock 23 Gen 4 with a Glock 22 mag in it. Another good setup, nice sights, no box, good condition. Cool one this week is this Gen 4 Glock 19C with the ported barrel and ported slide. Helps with the recoil a lot, really a flat shooter. It's in excellent condition as well. And last, we've got this Glock 48 nine millimeter. Has the shield arms mag release, metal mag release. Little bit longer, half inch than 43X, but takes the same mags, really good condition. That does it for all the Glocks this week. Next up, pretty cool one. It's a Beretta um, 92 FSR, which is a 22 LR. So it's basically like a Beretta 92 chambered in 22. Um, decocker, double and single action, does have a red dot mounted on it. And it is a threaded barrel, which gave this kind of fake suppressor. It does come off and it does come with the thread protector. I thought that looked pretty sick for the video. And someone put some gold inlay wood grips on it. Really nice setup though, nonetheless. And drops on Friday. Next up, got a mini revolver. This is one of the combos. So 22 Magnum and 22 LR. It comes with both cylinders. And it's even got a little inside the waist holster. Cool setup, switch the cylinders out by just popping this out and switching the cylinder. Next up this week, got a Chunky Tech, Tech 9. Also in really good condition for its age and just how cheap these things were originally made. Um, cool little safety mechanism for the charging handle. Comes with one mag, Chunky Tech. Got a Smith & Wesson SD9 two-tone, just kind of like a Glock 19 that Smith & Wesson copied. Sky CPX2, it's my cameraman's favorite gun this week. He just said it's amazing and it's perfect color for him. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get it. Nine millimeter, um, these hold the lifetime warranty no matter if you're the first or the 55th buyer. So good setup, I guess. Even better setup, I had to work out this morning just to be able to pick this up. High point, 10 millimeter, tactical threaded barrel, JXP. It's all the rave, everybody's talking about it. It is 16 pounds and um, safety's right here. 
what is that, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 round capacity, tactical rail, suppressor ready, model JXP, these have not been out long, and this one's in light new condition, so you know where it's at. Another cool one this week, we've got an M18 SIG P320. This originally had a tan grip like most of the M18s. It does come with that grip and this grip module as well. So if you like the tan one, you can pop it on. Comes with both and optic ready. Really nice setup, Glock 19 size, 21 round mag, P320 M18. Thought it was impossible for a handgun to weigh more than a high point, but obviously Mac-10 was kind of the originator of the heaviest handgun of all time. There's a Masterpiece Arms Mac-10, chambered in 45, does have the muzzle extender that threads off. These have became extremely hard to find. And this one has the original box, everything original. Um, they have gone crazy, but we we're lucky to get this one. And we currently have it going out on Friday. Really nice setup. I prefer the nine millimeters and the mini max just because that's so damn heavy. Next up, Ruger GP100, chambered in 357 Magnum. Really nice hood grip on it. Comes with our original box. Super nice condition. That's a six shot, I think. Yeah, six shot. Just a really good setup. Really nice revolver made by Ruger. Another nice revolver made by Ruger is this Super Blackhawk Hunter, chambered in 44 Magnum. Has the scope ring inserts already on the barrel. Probably why it's called the Hunter. Needs a scope on it. Just a really nice setup. This one was made, I think, in 2013 or 2014. It's in mint condition. Doesn't look like it's been fired much at all, as you can see by the cylinder. Really nice setup. Got some weight to it. Original box. Something you definitely don't see often. Next up, we've got this MMP9. It's got this thing in it. Sorry, guys. Smith & Wesson 9mm. Um, I think this is called Bull Shark Gray. Tactical with threaded barrel, suppressor ready, optic ready, suppressor height sights to co-witness with the optic. I'm not a Smith fan, but it feels really good in my hand. Please don't laugh, Cody. That's a good feeling handgun for real. Comes with these super tactical like FN copy mags. And cool spec series coin, like they copied SIG. Legion, so you can feel super special. And also, it's a badass tactical knife, color matching, really slick setup. And some grip options, and a gigantic case. Good setup, like new. I think we might have had one of these before in a video, but there we are. Moving on to the long guns. We've got this Marlin Model 60, kind of like a survival kit. It does have this fire starter and this knife on the stock. And then it's got the Marlin case and the wood stock for this gun is in the soft case as well. Tube fed, really nice setup. Moving on to the next table. We've got a kel CMR 30, chambered in 22 Magnum. Adjustable stock goes all the way in. Um, takes the same mags as a PMR 30 the pistol version, and threaded barrel. These are just a super fun gun, chambered in 22 mag, like I said. Next up, we've got a good setup. Smith & Wesson MMP 15, chambered in 5.56, A2 sight post, comes with a red, red dot type thing. It's got fiber optics on it too, which is, that's good. So, really good starter setup. Next up, we've got this Anderson AM15, AR15, chambered in 5.56. This is sort of one of those Vietnam Colt clones with the triangle handguard 
A2 sight post, carry handle, and the same style stock. This is a great option for somebody that wants to enjoy a shooter that looks like one of those Colts but doesn't want to pay astronomical numbers on it. So really clean, really nicely done, good setup. Next up, we've got this Zastava ZPAP M70, Serbian made, scope mount on the side, Serbian red wood, and triangle stock. Really stout setup, really heavy duty, threaded barrel, really nice AK-47. The stock does not fold, but you can get an adapter for it if you want to. Probably my favorite of the week, and I'm not a 35 Remington guy, is this Marlin 336 SC chambered in 35 Remington. The reason why it's my favorite of the week is because it's so damn nice. And it was made in 1951. So to be in almost mint condition, hardly fired, made in 1951, that's just a spectacular lever gun. And it's going out on Friday. Super clean, JM stamp right there, really nice. Another clean lever gun that you don't see every week is this Winchester Model 94 XTR chambered in 375 Winchester. That is a big ass bullet and it's a hard bullet or a hard round to find these days. Um, but checkered walnut stock and four end, really nice setup. That's the scope range to go with the mount and it's just in spectacular condition as well. Two really good lever guns this week. Next up, we've got this Weatherby Vanguard chambered in 30 alt six. Comes with a Nikon scope. Deer season's getting close. Just a black synthetic stock, Japan made, but it's a really good setup, ready to go right out of the gate. Next, we've got a Hardner, Hardner? <laughs> We got a H&R New England Partner pump. Really good home defense setup on a budget. It's really all you need. Kind of like a Remington 870 clone on a budget. What you see is what you get. Same for this one. It's another New England Partner pump. Just more of a Woodstock setup and in a little worse condition. We just got this, so we'll make sure to get it cleaned up. Ventilated rib and some sort of camo tape on it, we'll probably take that off, and a longer barrel as well. Sort of like the field model of this gun. Another amazing one this week is this Remington Model 1100. This is a 12 gauge, it is in immaculate condition. Similar to that Marlin, just to be of its age, this one was made in the 70s, and to be this nice, you can tell somebody really took care of it. Ventilated rib barrel, semi-auto, everybody knows what 1100 is, and this is a prime example of one. Next up, I don't even know what this is, guys. Ivor Johnson, single shot. Is that a 12 gauge? Yep. Really old Ivor Johnson, single shot 12 gauge. Um, what you see is what you get. A lot of people like collecting these single shots, things that may be a gunsmith special. So super budget friendly and is going out on Friday. Last but not least, we've got this Remington Model 700. Chambered in 308. Magpul bipod ready to go, heavy barrel. It has been threaded, has a really nice high power optic on it. And it's had trigger work done as well. Super light trigger, mag fed, just a really nice setup ready to go. And also has a Magpul stock on it as well, ready for a sling or something like that. Excellent condition, will not last long. That does it for this week's video. We appreciate you all watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It helps us out tremendously. If you have any questions, like I said, just call the shop, text the shop, or comment on this video. As always, we'll see you next week, and we're out.